Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Cole Janique from Mike Check TV, live on location at 404 Bar and Grill with the brown eyed basses, Don Adams. How are you? Thank you, Cole. I'm good, sweetheart. <laughs> I like that brown-eyed basis. I'm I, that's phrase. what I'm gonna call you. Cause every time I look at you, I gotta, I gotta give you eye contact. Cause I'm like, is what, what they say is to the, the eyes to the soul, that's or right. how, how do you say, how do you say that? That's right. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, anyway, you, you're one of the coolest people I know. We've been running into each other for years, and I, I appreciate your energy. Mm. Now, what brought you to Nashville? First, let me say how wonderful you look, cold and how delicious you smell cold did, did he say delicious yeah yeah i'll yeah. take that too yeah it's like that, <laughs> it's like that. i'll yeah. take that yeah but um yeah I've, I've been in nashville which you asked me uh 12 years now oh it might as well years. be home anything yeah. over 10 years might as well be yeah. home yeah i love it here i love it nashville's been great to me yes it has because everybody knows don now what brought you to nashville there was a uh, country artist by the name of oh uh, god oh god why did i you can do it you can do it can i bring it can i recall it yes you it's can been do a minute. it i'm getting old y'all um no i can't anyway that's all right anyway what he is saying is that <laughs> he wears multiple hats and he plays for multiple genres so don't put him in a box yeah, now what's some yeah. of the genres that you play for uh i've done of course country mm -hmm. which isn't my strongest I've done gospel uh, and jazz, of course, blues, uh, rock. Oh, you did rock? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I get my rock on. I would have loved yeah. to be a part of that because you're so cool with it. I would have loved to see you play for a rock band. Yeah, now I get my rock star going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, you have been playing with a band called higher ground for yeah. how many years i've been with higher ground it's been eight going on nine years now with higher wow ground. nine years yeah, yeah. now how did you guys get together i just went up and down i paved i hit the pavement you know just beating the bush and i shook hands with everybody and that i can come across in nashville and That's uh what you do and yeah i met van bradshaw and van Van's just opened homie. yeah yeah van van running this town <laughs> and uh you gave me an opportunity and I haven't looked back since. That's what you do. You got to get out and you got to network and you got to meet other artists, meet other people, and you got to be likable. Yeah. Because yeah. people are going to call the people that, that bring out the best energy when they want to yeah. work with somebody, especially yeah. when you're doing music and you're bring, bringing artists in to play. Who are some of the artists that you've played for? Uh, local artists, are you talking about? I, I just want to know who you done play well, with. Well, in the, last, do your name in the last week or so, I've worked with uh, Steve Roper, just another oh. Nashville staple. Love him. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, Steve is wonderful. Yeah. Um, Tina Brown, Dewana Hughes. Um, oh, gosh, see, I'm going to forget somebody and all of That's my all dear right. friends. You know, I That's don't all right. Y'all don't hold it against Please them. We don't, bad don't. with names. <laughs> That's what happened when you network with a whole bunch of people. Yeah. But that's all right, though. Yeah. We don't expect you to remember everybody. Yeah. But you have played with so many people. Now, where all does Higher Ground play now? Higher Ground, uh, wherever they're shaking a dollar is where Higher Ground is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, higher ground, they hustlers, man. Did you did you say shaking a dollar? Yeah. I like that. <laughs> See, that's that New Jersey coming out in you. Okay. So you're from New Jersey, right? See, I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to get some of that southern drawl going on. I gotta I'm working on it. Just let it go. It's right. it's in you. It's not gonna right. go anywhere. Right. You can get a little country that's in you, but it ain't gonna yeah. never stick too strong. I like that country though. <laughs> yeah. right. Now you've got some projects that you've got out and you've got one that you're working on tell us about your projects that you have uh well my first one was called decisive um which you know i basically share with my family and friends mm -hmm. you know some we, of gotta, my we best, gotta practice on them first some of some of my best music was on that uh, really? that project uh then it was caution may cause passion these titles uh, yeah yeah <laughs> Caution may cause passion, and then my this this last one that I'm working on now is um, uh, old man swag. 
Like I said, these titles, old man swag, never, never, never claim that though. But okay. you can claim it because you're so cool, so it's all right for you to claim it. Now, have you you brought in a couple of artists and vocalists that that you have on this project? Yes, um, Andy Dixon mm-hmm. done wonderful work with me. I can't wait um, to hear it. Of course, there's there's Kim. Um, Don't make me start saying names. I'm going to name Ooh. somebody wrong. <laughs> oh, see, how can I forget Kim Fleming? Kim Ooh. Fleming. No Kim what? Fleming. Yeah, that's my yeah. baby, man. She's going to be Love so bad. Her. Don't let Kim see this. Don't look at this, Kim. <laughs> We're sorry, Kim. Yeah. He's bad with names, but um, he can remember how to pick a bass. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and yes, I... Quasi Bless, you know, Angie, yeah, Sherry, Quasi. Hawk, you know, uh, all my friends came and helped out, you know. He had coal on there, but I ain't gonna hold it against him. No, no, I got, I got a whole nother project <laughs> reserved for you, baby. Yes, That's ma'am. what he said. Yes, That's ma'am. what he said. Yes, ma'am. Believe that. Now, how often do you travel playing? Uh, I'm traveling every week. Every week? Every Where are week. some of the places that you've been? Oh, uh, we go. Uh, course the atl Mm -hmm. uh, florida uh, from nashville you can hit everywhere within hours you really can so Mm -hmm. i'm and that's what we're doing we're in alabama mississippi uh texas uh arizona he's saying i am constantly going so how can people catch up with you if they wanted to hire you are you for hire because you are a full-time musician yes yes and uh yes i am definitely for hire (laughs) <laughs> I need all the where I still is not. I'm working all the time, but it's still not enough, Cole. I know. I'm a I workaholic, a and I love it. You know, it's a hustle. Yeah, that's because you love what you do and you're passionate about it. Now, how do you stay passionate about it day in, day out, doing the same thing every day? It's um, I get inspired. I feed off of my friends the other musicians that i work with uh-huh. you know good you, energy you, works you, you 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 exhort so much energy but when you're working with good people that that replenishes you and yes you know, it, does. it does it keep it, you inspired and motivated mm-hmm. it bring it brings something else out especially when you get to playing together and everybody just gets to doing what they do and it just starts taking a life of its own mm-hmm. yeah now something i want to know is What would you tell the artist or the musician that's coming up behind you that wants to do what you do? What can you tell that person that's like, I'm going to jump into it. I'm going to make a lot of money being a musician. I'm going to make a lot of money out here hustling. Everybody going to love me. I'm going to make it big. You know, because that's that's what every young person thinks. Oh, this is going to make it happen. I'm talented. What can you tell the artist that's coming up behind you? Okay, uh, well, first, um, I don't think anybody gets into music or learns an instrument Mm -hmm. based on, I want to make a lot of money. I think what attracts you to the instrument is you you like the instrument and you really want to learn how to play. You really Mm want to become proficient and learn how to play that instrument so that you can show somebody look what i could do right yeah you know I mean? <laughs> just to get a accolades or just a appreciation you know yeah. um so i would also say that um practice and then after you finish practicing practice some more and then after you finish practicing practice, practice some, more. some more and then get get some with someone that that knows because what i what happened with me is i just started I just picked up the instrument and I practiced a lot of incorrect things. So you want to trial and error. You, yeah, you want to get with someone that that would um, at least show you what to practice, so that you won't waste your time. Because yeah. four or five years later, I've had to figure out that I've been practicing the wrong way and the wrong thing. But you learn some. Yeah. And sometimes that's that's the best part about it. Who encouraged you to start playing the bass? It was a guy. His name was Raymond Earl. And, and how old were you when, when, when you got encouraged to be like, oh, I'm going uh, to pick this bass up and I'm going to I seen play. Raymond play and I knew that that's what I wanted to do. And um, How old were you when I you started? I was 13. So you've been playing the bass since you was 13? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> so you, you can do your trial and error at that age. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's when you're honing your craft and you're learning. Yeah. That's when yeah. the passion really kicks in when, you, when you're truly that's trying right. to learn it. So that's okay. That's right. And then there's... Um, 
a lot of people want to say that it's not what you know it's who you know and well. i kind of beg to differ than that you know mm. i think it's it's more about who knows you yeah you know some you can know everybody name drop all day long but if those people don't know you or then you're not going to get a call from mm-hmm. those people that yeah. you know yeah. yeah. So, what would you tell? What would you tell the uh, the the young musician who wants to get out and start networking with other musicians? What would you tell them to do to get their name out there and to be heard? What would you tell them? Oh, uh, you just gotta turn over every rock in this business. Mm-hmm. You know, because you, everybody's trying yeah, to do the same yeah, thing. You gotta, you gotta, mm-hmm. you never know which rock that that opportunity is under that's yeah. gonna make your mm-hmm. career. And so, always be likable. Oh, you gotta be. You gotta you be have face. some people skills. Gotta, always be. You know, I'm not likeable. the greatest bass player. You know, I know, I know, I'm not the greatest. Oh, stop and, it. And you know, I'm not afraid to go for mine. But at the same time, my people skills are up. Yeah, you it's know, so necessary. You know, of course, you gotta have because there's a lot of folks with this great have great talent that I refuse to work with. That they're their own roadblock, yeah. and yeah. some people just don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all right, though. Like, you know, we all got to learn our own ways. Mm-hmm. Now, where can we find your projects that you've put out and, and your project that's up and coming? Where can we get your music? Um, I just released my hard copies. Okay. So, yeah, you can find them in any outlet now. You know, the Walmart still, wherever. Oh, that you know. is awesome. Um, of course, you can... Uh, Digitally, I'm um, on uh, downloads. You can download mm-hmm. me online. So it, it's Spotify, yeah. Spotify, Rhapsody, iTunes, Rhapsody. Rhapsody. You can Amazon. get it on Amazon. I'm I'm all over now. So you can go so they ain't got no excuse yeah. but to go out and get this project. Now, if people want to get in contact with you, how would they reach you? Um, Facebook, Facebook. Don um, Adams on Facebook. Don Adams, Don Adams, and Don Adams Band on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, course my um, can i give them my, my yes own? give out all your information Man, you can call my my office number 615-506-3459 you can also reach say that me. number one more time just in case somebody ain't catch it 615-506-3459 um Gmail. I'm at uh, Don Adams Band at gmail dot com. Uh, my mother's number. Is, uh, <laughs> Don't give your mama gonna be like, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you on TV. How dare you? Yeah. You ain't getting no Sunday meals. I'm my joking. girl. My girl. <laughs> now, do you have any family here? I don't. Um, and I think that's what. Uh, uh, enables me to be the workaholic that I am is that I don't have much of a personal life Cole you know but so many people love you and appreciate what you do so you know what technically you do got family here yeah see what you said what I said was he do got family here he ain't been able to get rid of me since the day he met me (laughs) y'all let's just keep it real Thank you so much for sitting down to talk oh, to me. No, Is there anything you, that you want to tell our viewers from Mike Check TV Nashville? Man, I love y'all so much. All of y'all that support me and follow me on Facebook and 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 that show up to the jobs. I mean, to my gigs. I can't thank you enough. For real, I love y'all for that. And I thank you too, sweetheart. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for coming and talk to me yes. one more time. He is for hire. He is a full time musician. He is a man that does what he do, and he is for hire. Did I say that twice? Let me let me go and add it one more time. He is for hire. He is a full time musician. He is one of the coolest cats I know. One of the most genuine people that I know. I love you to death. Thank you for so. Thank you so much for coming to talk to me. Mike Check TV Nashville live on location at 404 Bar and Grill, and we are. Out.